What a place! Oh, I made it to the top! 4,700 and what was it? What was it now? 85? 75? I don't know. But uh, yeah, made it to the top! Good morning internet, it is 5 to 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Today it is uh, going to be a very long day. I am planning to ride to La Serena today. I'm now in a small town called Calingasta in Argentina and today I'm crossing back into Chile again. So I am now somewhere around here and the plan is to ride to Las Flores. This will be the last petrol station for about 300 kilometers I believe. So I'm gonna fill up here. Then cross the, the border here and then ride to La Serena. La Serena. But the border of Chile and Argentina uh, is sitting right at a mountain pass, which is called Paso Agua Negra, so the Black Water Pass. And that is sitting at about 4,800 meters altitude. <laughs> it's really high. Now I'm at, at about 1,400 meters altitude. So I'm gonna do a lot of climbing. So today is just gonna be a bit of a weird day, I think, because I looked at the weather forecast and at the pass today, they predict minus nine degrees Celsius. And here it is extremely hot. It's like almost 40 degrees. So uh, that's why I'm leaving a bit early today again. First of all, because it's a really long day and to escape the heat a little bit. Um, so I was thinking how to dress for the occasion because I'm gonna be riding through a lot of uh, temperature differences today. So I did put my liner back into my pants because doing that like on a mountain is maybe not the best idea. And then I'm gonna ride in this shirt and then I have my liner for my jacket uh, really close by. And then I also have my winter gloves ready so I can swap my gloves. And then hopefully it's gonna be okay. Um, Maps Me didn't even want to calculate the route uh, over the pass. So I don't know exactly how long today is going to be, but my guess is about 450 kilometers, uh, which is long, especially because a lot of it is going to be on unpaved roads. And I think the mountain pass is gonna take a very long time because it's just gonna be uh, climbing on this uh, small road. So, <laughs> I think today is definitely going to be an interesting day. Yeah, oh yeah, um, for breakfast, because I'm leaving early, breakfast only starts at 8.30, I think, or eight o'clock. Um, they gave me some uh, uh, small media lunas yesterday in the evening. So I had a couple of them for breakfast and then I'm gonna take these ones with me for lunch or something. Let's see how it goes. So <laughs> let's go before it uh, starts to heat up here. So here is a gendarmerie. Oh, right in the middle of nowhere. Hola. ¿Cómo le va? Bien, gracias. ¿Usted? Bien. Con calor ahora. ¿eh? Con calor, sí. sí. ¿Tienes sol? Sí. ¿A dónde se va? Voy a La Serena. Ah, la Serena. Sí, por las flores, sí. 
El camino, ¿cómo está para allá? ¿Por dónde venimos? ¿Acá? ¿Sí? <risa> Más o menos, está bien, está bien. A veces hay arena y rocas, pero sí. Y de acá para acá tiene 5 kilómetros, que está, está feo, ¿eh? Y después de ahí para allá está... 5 kilómetros feo. feo. Muy feo, o... Oh. Ah. Okay. Tiene... ok. Está mejor el camino. Bueno. Ha llovido bastante. ¿Mm? Ha llovido bastante, le digo, ayer y antes de ayer. Ah, ayer? Ah, sí, sí. Por eso está, está el camino así, eso que venga no sé. Y a veces, porque le queda, cuando vienen de Mendoza, Ajá. les queda más cerca por acá que por el otro lado. Sí, sí. Por eso todo este, <risa> este camino está bien. <risa> ah, sí. Bueno. Esto adelante, señor. ¿Mm? Adelante. Sí, gracias. Le queda 40 kilómetros, 50 kilómetros hasta la ¿Escupe? flores. 50 kilómetros más o menos le queda hasta las flores. Ok, ok, 40. Muy bien. Bueno, chao, adiós. Oh, 5 kilómetros muy feo. There's five kilometers, five ugly kilometers coming up. <laughs> Let's see. But it's uh, 45 kilometers until uh, Las Flores. And I've also been riding on this road for 45 kilometers. This uh, unpaved stuff. So that means I'm halfway. Not going very fast. As you may have noticed, I'm averaging maybe 50 kilometers. I can ride some parts I can ride a bit faster, but then you get stuff like this. Or those really really soft and deep uh, sand patches. Ah, I slow down for that stuff. Because uh, if you crash at 60 kilometers an hour, that's not gonna be nice. So but yeah, this stuff also takes some time to cross. It's not super difficult, but It's just, yeah, you can't really go <laughs> very fast on it. Not so good for Porta, no. I'm guessing that the five ugly kilometers, I'm guessing he means this. Actually, I'm hoping that he means this, because <laughs> this is not too bad. So Las Flores is kind of in that direction and then when I reach there then I'm gonna make like a 90 degree turn and then head straight into the Andes to do the crossing, the border crossing and the pass. filled up on petrol. Let's go to the border. So here is already the customs and the immigration check of uh, Argentina, whereas the border itself is somewhere on top of those mountains. So there's a very very long stretch in between the, the two sides of Argentina and Chile. Was getting out of Argentina very easy took like 10 minutes maybe they did ask me for the first time to show uh, proof of uh, motorcycle insurance that's the first but uh, I got that when uh, Dano arrived in Buenos Aires I got uh, insurance which is valid in Argentina Chile Bolivia and Peru La Serena <laughs> still 325 kilometers to go And I already did 140, so it will be like, yeah, 465 kilometers if I make it to uh, La Serena today. It's now uh, 10 o'clock, it starts to get a little bit hot now, so it's time to uh, start climbing. Check 
point or something. Hola. Hola. A Chile. A Chile. Sí, voy a Chile, sí. Bueno, sírvase. No vaya a perder este número, se lo van a pedir los carabineros en Chile. Ok. Allá en la aduana. Sí. Le van a pedir este número. Ok. ¿Sabes? Ok. Bueno. Un papelito allá abajo, cuadradito, para mí. Uh, sí. <risa> Gracias. Chao. Proyecto Tunnel Agua Negra. I already read about this, that they are going to build a tunnel. Probably that, that way. And then you don't have the pass anymore. But for now I still have to go over the pass. But I think uh, I am going to put on some warmer stuff now. Before I'm really really cold. I think that's a smart idea. I'm trying to drink uh, a lot of water to stay uh, hydrated and uh, not get such a, such a headache because of the altitude. This morning I brought an extra one and a half liter bottle of water which I put in the back and now already I, I put it in my camel bag so I already drank uh, one and a half liter today. So I think it's important to keep on drinking. So I am now at uh, 4100 meters altitude. I can already notice it that I'm getting a little bit uh, short on breath. So I feel better uh, stop here and change for some warmer stuff than do it like at the top where it's like the coldest and like the highest. So let's go. this wow have you ever seen eyes like this that's insane I think I'm here altitude 4753 this is the one this is the border. Some interesting decorations. <laughs> it is very windy at the top here, so uh, no flying drones, unfortunately. But I'm gonna have my little uh, Media Luna lunch here and probably stick my sticker up here. What do you think? What a place! Oh, I made it to the top! 4,700 and what was it? What was it now? 85? 75? I don't know. But uh, yeah, made it to the top. I have a mild headache, but uh, not too bad to be honest. I expected it way worse. I am going to have my lunch here and then uh, hit the road and then go uh, down the pass again.
Variante Camino. Now I don't know which one is the variant and which one is the Suelo Bajada. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one I have to take. We are finally the Chile side of the border. Hola. Buenas tardes. Necesito este papel. Ah, ya. Sí. Adelante, que le va a ir. Ok, gracias. Adiós. Chao. This took a little bit longer because uh, they wanted me to uh, take all the bags off and put the bags through the scanner. So, uh, other than that, the uh, passport check and uh, temporary imports were really easy. El punto. And this is my room. Look how lovely it is. And I even have like an outdoor area. Let's see. Hola. Hola. <laughs> We're just uh, cleaning. What the? Oh, I'm so happy with this room. Uh, a place to rest. I am really tired. It took me 10 hours. I arrived here at 5 o'clock and I left at 7 this morning. 
So it took me 10 hours to get here. And the funny thing is that when I was right at the Paso Agua Negra, there's the Blackwater Pass, it was 12 o'clock. So that was exactly in the middle. So it took me five hours to get up to the top of the pass and then five hours to get from the pass to uh, La Serena. What a magnificent ride, unbelievable. Um, yeah. It's just every time these border crossings, like crossing the Andes, are absolutely fantastic. And today was amazing. Yeah, and the altitude wasn't so bad. I expected a lot worse, but uh, I was feeling pretty fine. Uh, just to, like, I had a little bit of a headache and uh, um, yeah, a little bit short of breath. But I think, yeah, but I expected it to be way worse. So uh, that was really positive. So uh, what else? Yeah, um, I'm going to take a rest now. Uh, so that was it for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.